Try down. Yeah, I've already dropped down here. Yeah, that's, but yeah. that's the only way down from that part. Well, besides warping, that's what I was actually going to do. That's oh. right, it is, the, it is the only way down from there. Yeah, you're right. Well, Speaking no, about just, warping, I was. scientists seem to have a the beginnings of a warp device. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. It's right. not quite um ready yet, but they have a... They're researching it. Interesting. They're about still time. working on scaling it up. Wow, about time. I didn't even think we were going to get to the point where... I didn't even think that was a thing that we could ever accomplish. That's interesting. They also have the starter years of the teleporter. They took a single cell on a slide and moved it like three inches. Nice. Interesting. Just some dead body? Interesting. You're not cursed, are you? <laughs> This body has to be somewhere. I forgot where I originally encountered this bitch. Not that it matters. I don't even know if that's even her or if there's the same one, not a body, a fake body, but there's gotta be somewhere. Here, oh. why wouldn't it? Are you looking for a boss? No, well, I don't know, honestly. The, the bitch in the tower was talking about a cursed body and I was busy chatting with Supply as it was happening. Oh. So I did not get her dialogue at all because I ignored it. And now I regret it. That's why I'm mad. It's because I literally cannot talk and play at the same time. I have ish, I can't. I have very bad attention span. And this is why uh, I'm is saying- Is it the uh, first quest from her? I, I assume I don't remember too much of her dialogue at all from the first time I talked to her. All I know is that she's talking about some cursed body. I don't even remember what she told me the first time I met her. She's the one that gave me Torrent, that's all I know. The first time I talked to her in the beginning of the game, she gave me the horse. And now she's talking about some cursed body that is not in this tower. I'm assuming it's somewhere in within one of these areas because why else would her body be somewhere else? I'm a s and now I guess she has multiple quest lines. Eh. I've, this is the second time oh, I've encountered Melina. her. Oh, Yeah, the girl with the forearms. She's. This is the second time I've encountered her. I'm not sure if that was a clone then, or if this is the real body. She's talking about a cursed body. I'm assuming it's story related, because why wouldn't it be? All I know is there was a dragon that I fought that I that that disappeared. He, I don't remember if he was a full-on... It was a full-on boss. I got him down to about half, and then he is gone. He's just straight up gone. He's somewhere here, probably. I'm not sure if that's the, a body or not. Like, I, it's my, I... I hate my memory real much. Ah. That's why I'm saying this shit. Stop, motherfucker! Dogs! I really hate dogs. Like, they need to stop moving about. Like, seriously, because I can't fucking hit them. Go the fuck away. Like, seriously, dude. All they do is bounce away and then hit me. How am I missing? Come on. Seriously, would you stop? Jeez. Oh. Game, stop with the elevation. He's right in front of me. Stop making me go over his head. Bullshit. Okay, shut the fuck up. Fucking people, I swear to God. Some people, players need to really fucking stop with this 
finger butthole. It's after 50 games, it's annoying. It's not funny. It died a long time ago. Yes, people, uh, I'm serious. You, uh, you guys can all say I'm serious, but I am 100% always serious. And it's yeah. just getting old. Because I'm tired. I just want serious shit this time. I just want some serious answers. I'm tired of the trolls, honestly. It's, just, it's not funny anymore. It's really not. Lazuli rope? Did I just find Android 18's outfit? Can I finally get into Android 18's pants? <laughs> uh, 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 her name's Lazoo. Doesn't know. Yeah, it's kind of a, a it's one of those things that's a, not a retcon because they never gave her name before. Have you ever heard her called Android 18 Lattice. on all the uh, yeah. old uh, dubs? Yeah, I know. They always I mean, called her Android 18. I know, and they still don't call her Lap. They don't call her Lazuli or uh, him Lapis at all. They just. Uh, it's one of those things that you read from an interview where Akira is like, oh yeah, her sa Satan's real name is Mark. One of those things that's kind of not a retcon, but at the same time, it, he decides to just throw this out of nowhere because he's very bad at writing stories. <laughs> I love Akira Toriyama, but he kind of is not great at story writing. I kind of like that. No, I do too. It's just kind of funny that he just always gives this information way, way out of nowhere. Because he could have, he, you know, he could have came up with this stuff and said it then and there. Because, yeah. like, we don't call Mar or Hercule Mark. At, we will never. I get it. He's based off a, you know, one of those big shot talking wrestlers who always gets his ass kicked. That is literally what he is. Yeah, and in the, uh, duh, or the subtitled ones... His name is Satan. Satan! Satan! That's what I'm used to hearing growing up. Yeah. Even though I've watched it off Funimation, or, uh, you know, Tsunami. Yeah, I, I, I think the, they I did the name change for um, American uh, the, audiences because yeah, Satan oh, yeah. is a different... Yes. yes. Hercule! Then, Hercule! Yeah. Yes. I'm used to hearing Hercule from the TV, but my DVDs, I've watched more. I grew up with my d yeah. DVDs over time. I'll be back. All but, right, take your time. But yeah, no, like, and it's funny that they changed his name to Mark because no one says it, and no one will ever say it. He's Satan. He's just Satan or Hercule, depending on what you watch. Yeah. Like, if I bust out my DVDs, it's Satan. If, I bust, if you put on Toonami, it's going to be Hercule, or whatever. I do like the uh, subtitled version because he's supposed to be, like, the strongest man alive. Mm hmm But he's, like, such so pitiful compared to all the Z fighters. Especially even, like, Yamcha. Krillin. Krillin, Yamcha, and them. Yeah. Even, Krillin uh, is actually the strongest human. Human, yes. I was going to say, sorry, Yamcha and Yamcha Tien and, and Krillin and them are a little too strong. He's weaker than Bulma. Yeah. Actually, no, he's no, he's technically physically not, but Bulma's Bulma and Chi-Chi would whoop Hercule's ass. No, Hercule is actually strong. He's actually the strongest normal, say, uh, yeah. human. Hercule is. Krillin is the strongest human with a mil, uh, with magical or you know physical with his ability, uh, you know the abilities that they have. He's the strongest normal human being with abilities, except for Tien. Yeah. Though Tien has that third eye, doesn't he? Yes, but he's still considered a human, even though they even though he's member, even though he's a triclops. It's just yeah, his race is of a triclops race. That's why I didn't say he was. That's why I said besides Tien, because he's technically yeah. considered human, but he's not, because he's a he's a, he's, he's a member of a three-eyed race. Like in my the orange brick set, they would always give little backstories. I don't know how accurate all that is, and the orange brick set's not great. 
ra uh, aspect ratio wise. But like, no, there's the yeah. that's where I found, that's where I saw that in the, in those little passages. They always give you backstories. And Tien is a member of the tree uh, three eyed race. A tree eye, like they never tell you. And unless you read a Toriyama's interviews or anything, you probably will never know. But yeah, no, Tien is technically, I guess, not human. But then again, Dragon Ball is a melting pot of shit. That's why Goku oh, was yeah. accepted. That's why Goku was accepted. Even long before, like, I grew up on Dragon Ball Z first, but long before Dragon Ball Z and Saiyans were a thing, Goku was kind of, yeah, they retconned a lot of shit, if you want to count that as a retcon, such as Piccolo becoming Namekian, Goku becoming Saiyan. That was never a thing before. Yeah, it's like, um... There's that legend they have with, um... Oh, the, the uh, a monkey-tailed guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who had that flying cloud in that staff that could extend itself. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. It was before Akira Toriyama was like, yeah, let's let's make the story more... Uh, let's make the story some from comedy to go more martial artsy. So in order to progress the story, we have to change... Make it more serious. So let's make Goku an alien. Because they were... I don't think they ever planned for Dragon Ball Z. I think Akira Toriyama wanted Dragon Ball to be it, but Dragon Ball, unfortunately, was not selling well. So I don't know how Dragon Ball survived, because when its start was rough. I think they wanted it... I think he wanted to cater towards a, a more of a fighting audience. Which is why he oh, changed everything. Oh, the uh, Journey to the West was the... Uh... The yeah, Son it. Goku. Yes, that's all that was. It was meant to just be a separate thing, but unfortunately Dragon Ball itself never really sold well. It was actually, Dragon Ball Z would not have been a thing, because Dragon Ball did not survive almost. From what I've read, actually. I don't know if that's true, mm. but from what I've read back in Japan, Dragon Ball had a really rough start. And even for me, like, I love Dragon Ball. It is rough to start with, that's why. Like, I have a hard time watching Dragon Ball. I prefer Dragon Ball Z. That doesn't mean Dragon Ball's bad, it's just, yeah, it's slow. It's very slow. And to me, honestly, the comedy is kind of not as good. That good. Like, it's alright. But it's a different time, it's a different era. Like, growing yeah. up with it back in, when I first encountered it, was back in 6th grade for me. Which, it was like 2004 or something like that. No, wait, 2004, what the fuck, I'm in middle school. Close, though, 2003, 2002, something like that. Close. But yeah, around the early 2000s is when I found it. And also, Dragon Ball. Bleach was also inspired by the same Premise? thing really? that Dragon Ball was inspired by. Oh, Journey to the West, the 16th really? Century. Yeah. Interesting. I did not know that. I never looked up Bleach's back, like, history on, like, a, why, where, they, where the guy came up with the idea. Like, I remember reading that is where Dragon Ball was based on, yeah. But now Dragon Ball's good, it's just, it is a rough start. They have a lot of comedy, but its comedy is definitely lost on a lot of people because its time period is vastly different than when it came out back in the early 80s. Versus, you know, 90s or 2000s for a lot of kids my age. And I'm not, I do, and that's when I first saw it, back in early 2000s. I don't know when it aired prior to that in America. If I would have found it first, it probably would have been a different story. Even reading the manga is hard to read. <laughs> like, ugh. But I love Dragon Ball, don't get me wrong. I just wish they would have, I just wish they would release a better DVD set than those brick sets, because that's all that they had for a while. Because I bought another Dragon Ball box set that has Shenron on it, and I don't know how well the DVDs actually are, because I haven't watched them, because it's a collector's thing to me. But the brick set's fine. It's just, it actually does have cut dialogue. Because there's parts where Gohan is talking to Cell, and all you see is his lip flaps moving and no dialogue. I'm like, what the fuck? Then there's parts where the aspect ratio is off, but I don't really care. But there are parts where it's cut off. And then there's, like, missing dialogue. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? But then, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I've watched that shit so many times to the point where it broke my PS3. <laughs> Good old days. Mm. 
Oh, excuse me. But yeah, no, I love whenever they do reference the Journey to the West because they have a they have an, a filler episode of Inuyasha that does that too. Where Inuyasha fights a pig and a mm. monkey, and he has a monkey sprite and a and a weird frog wa water sprite thing. Yeah, it's and Kagome is all fangirling out because she loved the Journey to the West story, but it's a filler. I'm just glad that that's getting referenced in other locations. But no, like I love that Dragon Ball is referenced in other mediums, like you know, in uh, Code's name, Kids Next Door, <laughs> for instance, where uh, the the delightful children was Frieza and number four was Goku, <laughs> <laughs> and he does uh, the Kamehameha wave with gum. I actually read something about what would happen if Goku and, um, what was his name? The legendary Super Saiyan? Uh. Broly? Uh, the, well, technically. Uh, the actual, they, they turned him into it. I forgot what the actual legend's name was in the series, but yeah, Broly. Yeah. Because, well, here's the thing, though. When they talk about the actual legend since Broly was not canon this whole time, they reference a, a different story about a guy who was so powerful that his power actually killed himself. But, yes, Broly. Yeah, the successor to the first Super Saiyan. Yes. The guy, yeah, Bro I, uh, and also I love his hair color. I love that he's green. Yeah. But, yeah. They were, so like, saying what would happen if Broly and Goku were raised by Grandpa. Ah. Uh. And they also changed the history slightly all throughout the... the, uh... how Broly being himself was so strong that it took him quite a bit longer to go Super Saiyan. But he had other abilities that he could tack on to become stronger still. Interesting. But he... Not quite as... Getting to... Um, Goku's point. Ah, but still... Yeah, still equally like as strong, just differently. Yeah, Broly just doesn't have the training. Yeah. And also he's just pure brute strength, unlike Goku. Where he actually has common sense. Broly loses... Broly's transformation, fortunately, he, he goes Hulk mode. Yeah, but one bad thing about Goku, he lets his enemies power up fully just for the challenge. Oh, yeah. Also, Goku lets his rage get to him, too, though. Half his, all of, Most of his transformations is rage, as well. Yeah, because well, he's, uh, that... like, losing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not only that, Go Goku is... A lot of Goku's transformations is based on Broly, though. Yeah. And he's got very and similarities. And Goku's the only one who knows how to hurt Broly. Yes. That is correct. Because he's Goku. <laughs> Goku can because... be a gnat sometimes. He doesn't care about anything but fighting. Oh, I know he's an asshole. Ugh. And that's kind of why I hate him, because then he'll sit there and... He did fucking he did it again with Moro and it pissed me off where he gave him a sensubi and I'm like Goku not a fucking again. And that's why I was so happy that Vegeta is the one that stole his fucking power. Vegeta pulled a Naruto <laughs> and was able to sit there and absorb the energy out of him. I was so fucking happy that Vegeta got an ability that's basically like, "Hey, I can absorb nature air." Goodbye to your god power, Moro. Goodbye to your planet eating bullshit. Because Goku oh. wants to be a fucking dick again. No, I loved that. Because, well, Goku did use the spirit bomb against, um, Frieza. Yeah, but and he's he still got he's energy gonna... from the. Yeah, he still kind of let Frieza go, go to max yeah. power. 
and he was and he let him go even he was about to let him go too before Frieza turned on him and even after he thought he killed him he still survived <laughs> he was about to let Frieza go too even after all the shit that he pulled after killing Krillin I'm sorry that was the whole reason you fucking transformed Goku lest not you forget also he almost tried killing your son you're gonna sit there and let that happen fucking moron yeah and, and some of these storylines don't make sense. And he was about to let Frieza do damage because he was gonna sit there and he was about to teleport to Earth, but he decided not to. The whole time he could have teleported that whole fucking time. That whole mm -hmm. fucking time. But he let Trunk. And then he noticed Trunks popped in. You're lucky. Y yeah, he would have let he would have stayed behind and he would have let Frieza do the damage. He said he was about to teleport, but nah, you know he would. Sorry. Like, that's I get I get why everyone's so pissed at him half the time. Like, he was yeah, also and... about to let He also almost he also let Cell do the damage to his own son. I'm sorry. I get Gohan has the potential to become a Super Saiyan too. Wasn't you don't it need... Toriyama was like after Frieza, he didn't want to do no more. Originally, yes. Frieza was meant to be the end, yeah. But his editors, I think, wanted it to continue because it was making money. Hence, yeah. Hence, it was also, I think it was also originally meant to end its cell as well. Be, hence the Goku dying. That's his, that's his send off. Unfortunately, that was his original send off. It was like, yeah, he was going to end it at Frieza. Hence, you know, the massive Frieza blow up was going to be the end. Mm -hmm. I, th I think. I know Cell's blow up was going to be the end. Because Goku died. He wanted it to end. He also, I think, wanted it to end at Pilaf originally, I think. If I recall reading, I think he wanted to end it at Dragon Ball, because Dragon Ball wasn't selling. I really can't tell, to be honest, but yeah. Unfortunately, there's a lot of nonsense going on with Dragon Ball, because uh, a lot of it's kind of just retcons. Like, Goku is never meant to be an alien, nor is Piccolo. Then Raditz came in and is like, Ah, you're saying now! And that's why Goku is so well accepted, even though technically he was an alien the whole time. Hence the, you know, being a baby in the space pod mm -hmm. and all that. Even though they don't go into too much detail on that. It's not until Raditz And it was Raditz a bump to the in. head that he forgot. Yup. And they go into more detail when Raditz comes in. That's when you learn the whole ordeal about Goku's past. It's ridiculous, yeah. As much as I love Akira Toriyama, his, his, as much as I love Akira Toriyama, his writing is uh, not that I can do any better, to be honest. Yeah, true. My writing's not great either. Unfortunately, I can't come up with story. I can come up with stories off the dome, but I can't. It, it has to have a base. Because I've wrote, I've written my own story with the Odyssey as a base using anime characters and such. Unfortunately, I'm not great with writing, but nor is Akira. Like, he's... A lot of people, like, I love Super, but it's just, it's contradicting itself left and right. I mean, Dragon Ball is always like that. Oh yeah, because it's a long-running series in the hands of a guy who's never really been great with they you know how much changes it's been made because they didn't like his original villains they changed things the 7 or uh, 18 and 19 or 19 and 20 were meant to be the original androids they didn't like them so 17 and 18 were born i guess they didn't like them either so cell was born Because I read somewhere they didn't like them because they were too old or just didn't fit and then 17 and 18 were too young or something stupid. Yeah, there's every. It's like, come on, guys, just, just let it happen. That's Jesus. Christ. Yeah. Stories need to happen naturally. That's unfortunately why Dragon Ball suffers is because it was forced. A lot of it, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, because it was so popular, they wanted it to continue. Yo. So and they he, basically. Yeah, and that's why he's not writing it any, or that's why he's not doing it anymore. He's writing it still, but that's why Koryo Taro is doing it, because he's done. He's done. He's been done. Yeah. 
it's unfortunate. I love Dragon Ball, but there's a lot of issues with it. And I get it. Naruto is doing the same thing with Boruto. He's, I think, I think he's done with it, but he's still want, I guess they wanted to keep Oh, you mean it's like, um, because, yeah, he's like Yu-Gi-Oh, the original ended, but they're still keeping it going with like GX. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Boruto's doing the same thing. They, he's yeah. behind it, but he, that's a different guy doing the art. And story. I'm direction. so pissed off at the studio took artists off of the uh, anime that I like and then sent them to work on Naruto. Really? Uh, and Boruto's yes. not doing well at all. I don't like Boruto No, because people are like um, bored. Well, it's just going on for far too long. Yeah. It had a phenomenal I... ending. Well, it had a good ending and then they ruined it further with Kaguya. I'm sorry, like, the is. anime I'm talking about is So I'm a Zombie Now? <laughs> Best name ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the guy ends up being a zombie. Then <laughs> a magical girl with a chainsaw tries to kill him. Him Not being a zombie sucks away her powers. So now he's the uh, chainsaw willy magical girl. What the fuck? Lollipop chainsaw? That's the first Not thing quite. that came into my It's what popped into my head. It's though. kind of like that, but... And then wise, he has a... a um, uh, the one who turned him into a zombie is a... demoness from hell who's the daughter of the devil. And if she talks, her voice obliterates everything. This is sounding interesting. <laughs> this is sounding... And because of that, the demoness and the magical girl who had her power stripped from her move into his house. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, because he has the magical girl and powers, he gains the outfit as well of the magical girl. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> So he's wearing a dress, a short dress, with um, white and blue striped pantsu. <laughs> to the two fingers, will you may be our... Yes. Oh, that's, that's funny. The Academy of Lacaria lies to it is. is and they only lasted like um, a few episodes and then they had the last episode where they said the studio pulled our artists off of this project to work on Naruto. I'm sure. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell. It lies at the two fingers for big ones. But yeah, the premise behind that was so funny. That's great. smell it on you. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh. Trapped in the sewage aisle below the capital. Koriwa Zombie Desuka. What is the actual you name. And defile your corpse. Wow. Then the pox will truly be your own. Oh good. Go and NPC boy. In the sewage good NPC boy is giving me a key. Now I can fight his in his corporeal flesh. Well, all right then. All right, let's see. Sewer jail, is that how it's pronounced? I've always been pronouncing it jail. Yeah, it is jail. Unlocks the sewer jail at the door beneath Lindell. Okay. Oh. The magical girl tried to erase his memories, but because he was a zombie, it stripped her of her powers. Hmm.
Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. So I was right. When I beat the campaign, it threw me right into zombies. Nice. Because zombies was supposed to be a little, uh, a, a gift for beating the campaign. Oh, nice. And it, it blew up into this giant th game mode. <laughs> Which I love. I love zombies. Also, this anime I'm talking about, like, rips on all these various genres. Uh, well, that's good. I like when stuff does that. <laughs> I want them to make a Bleach RPG. I mean, there's there are. It's just I don't know any off the top of my head. There's plenty of... RPGs I mean, games. I mean, like, uh, PSO style. Ooh. Where you can, like, eat, well, or, like, you could choose to be a, a main character, or you can make your own character and give them whatever weapon you want. Oh, that's cool. I wouldn't mind that. Different classes of may, you can, whether you can be a... A Ron Carr, or... Yes. Or, or, and, and then subclasses, like, when if, if you choose to be a Ron Carr, you got... Regular Ron Carr, Espada, and then Vesta Lorde. Yeah. And then or Menos Grande. Then you got, you got Soul Reaper, you got... Soul oh, forget Reaper, Quincy. Quincy, or you got Human. Quincy's kind of like a PSO thing. Yeah, and then you can mix, or you can mix and match and have Quincy yeah. Human, or Soul Reaper or, Human. Or you could be like Ichigo and be everything. Oh uh, yeah, and like even add in the um the bout arc in there, so you could add in another add that in as like a DLC. There you go, and then you just face vampires. Uh, I actually never really cons I don't consider them vampires. I don't either, but whatever. Even though technically they are yes. in the Bleach universe vampires, but as they Alucard are. would, say, you're not no, a real the, god. The, you're you're not a real fuck mothering vampire, yeah. You're not a real motherfucking vampire. And then he will proceed to shoot them in the face. Yeah. Oh, I love a bridge. Uh, I love that a bridge. It's so good. Or he'll like, you goddamn punk. <laughs> yeah, because there's. Bleach I prefer I, I prefer Team Four Stars version of Alucard over the actual Alucard. I mean, I prefer TFS doing DBZ over the original myself. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to beat a lot of those characters. Like, um, because one of when job. in um, in one of the episodes, uh, I think they're at the hotel in Brazil. Uh, mm -hmm. someone's like, "There's a there's a hot big titty chick and some Ozzy Osbourne looking motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> and they're talking about Alucard. <laughs> the best thing is the best thing is. It's a bridge, but you get the gist of the series. Yeah. With DBZ, you get the gist of Frieza then, Cell. Sadly, yeah, that's all they do, but... And, and, and then, um... Actually, honestly, before I finish my sentence, uh, I would have loved to see uh, Team Four Star do their own adaptation of Broly. Well, they have Broly as a bridge movie. Not the new one. Oh, really? yeah, the original. Yeah, they have the original Broly movie, the first one, because there's Broly. Oh, cool. Bro Broly is a trilogy. The original Broly character is a trilogy of movies. There's technically four uh, Broly movies: three non-canon Broly's and one of the new one, Super Broly. So yes, technically they did the original first Broly movie, the Legendary so are, Super. Are it's gonna, called, the the first are, movie's called Broly: The Legendary Super Saiyan. They have that one. Uh, because they did a lot of the movies, yes. They've done Are they going to bring him into the main show of Super? Probably, eventually. I'm not sure. 
and like I have would... him help. Uh, I wouldn't do see it. why not. Do they incorporated. They they Broly? they may they they did do the first two movies as an arc. They may do Broly as an arc, for all I know. Uh, or um, do you think Broly could in... take on Black? Yes. And win? Probably not full on, but with enough time, yeah. Because he's technically stronger than Goku and Vegeta by themselves, and Goku and Vegeta beat Black. Yeah. So basically, if he can beat Black, he can beat a god. Yes. Well, so can Goku and them. But oh, it, yeah. Broly's power is just unrefined. If With enough time and yeah. training, Broly could be a powerful asset, which is good because technically Broly, Super Broly, is good. Because he's not yeah. a bad guy at all, unlike unlike the original Broly, who is just pure rage and hatred. Rage. Like, like yeah. the new one is, but he's got friends, unlike the original. Yeah. And Goku, and Broly and Goku literally kind of, while Goku just wants a fight, while he's not, doesn't mean any harm Goku out of it. Goku could train Broly, Broly. Broly does not seem any, does not see any hatred out of him, so he's gonna, he could potentially become friends yeah. with him. Unlike Vegeta, yeah, who's kind of scared. Like, unlike yeah. Vegeta, who is still wait, wait, like, Vegeta uh, scared of Broly? Uh, no, it's just Vegeta doesn't. Vegeta, well, it's because Broly's strong, very strong, and very ragey. Bro, uh, Vegeta's, Vegeta's just not an idiot, like Goku is. So, 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 so what you're telling me is Broly is technically Kenpachi. Kinda. The the reason what I mean and by this they, is Go, Goku is an idiot uh, and just wants a pure fight. Vegeta's smart and wants to end things. Vegeta, if had his way, he would have ended Moro. He would have ended Frieza. He would have ended Cell. Goku wants to keep these bitches alive because he's an idiot. Also because he's bored. That too. But Vegeta is... Vegeta literally... If it, was, if it wasn't for fucking making Goku the winner and everything, Vegeta would have ended Moro. In fact, it's the reason why Moro lost. Is because of Vegeta. Because he absorbed his god power out of him. Moro became the Earth. Literally. Vegeta uh. took that out of him. And then Ow. Goku, he he absorbed, he learned the, uh, he learned spirit vision. Where, um, he learned from the yard rats. Could learn it? They, no, because Goku is an idiot and doesn't want to. He doesn't. He's impatient. The same t the same people that taught Goku the instant teleport taught Vegeta both that. Yes, Vegeta knows how to teleport because he did it. He also learned how to do spirit vision, where he can take energy out of people. Vegeta literally. Uh is also a genius when it comes to combat. Goku is a genius, yes, but he's an idiot when it comes... Like, Goku's yeah. combat ability is just pure because he's a main character. Idiot savant. Yes, he's a savant, so, so Vegeta... What, what you're trying to say is, like, try, I'm about to compare Goku and Vegeta to uh, Ichigo because, because technically, in the beginning of the show, Ichigo was like Goku. Mm-hmm. He was not smart, but after he got his second Bankai and slowed down and thought about it, he became Vegeta. Essentially, Vegeta is the taptician of the two, out of Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. Goku is the pure muscle, Vegeta is the brain. Where, where, like, after the Soul Society arc, Ichigo kind of stopped rushing into things like Goku would. And actually, like, stopped and thought about it. Yeah, no, Ichigo has some very... Uh, Ichigo's abilities, when he's beaten several people, he's, he thought of it. Like, yes, Vegeta yeah. Vegeta never wins because he's... Um, to go. He's always going to be second fiddle to he, Goku. Here's the thing, here's the thing. But he uh, didn't technically lose against Moro. He moment, won. He had a... Ichigo had a Broly moment. His mm -hmm. fight, his last fight with Ukiora, when he goes Vastal Lorde, mm -hmm. that was a Broly moment. Pure rage. Yeah, did, that's what wait, triggered he... the Vastalarde transformation. Was oh, his rage right. because didn't he, you know, didn't he take out Uriyu? Orihime, or was it? Or... Yeah, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> it was one of his friends. That's right. Yes, yes, he did. But Zagetsu. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So I Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, he has very, a it's very similar to Goku's rage, and Broly's rage. Goku's rage. Goku's Super Saiyan transformation is all rage. So was Gohan's. Like all, all, uh, all, so all his Super Saiyan. Deep. Super Saiyan is triggered by rage. Vegeta's rage, uh, Vegeta's near-death experience triggered it. Goku losing Krillin. Gohan transforming was, well, due to training originally, but Super Saiyan 2 was triggered because all his friends were dying, and then 16, 
Originally, yes, it was a mixture between 16 getting crushed as well as his best friends and family getting beaten up in front of him. But it wasn't uh, so until 16's was, head. There was no it way of them re reviving uh, 16. No, technically yes, but they don't. Because they could just say, "Hey, Shen they could just say Shenron, bring 16 back." Uh, That's it. Or, well, here's, here's the thing. The, there's the thing, does though. Vegeta immortality the last, still? The, huh? So does Vegeta still want immortality? No, that that was given up a long time ago. Vegeta's a pure on like good character. He doesn't care. He wants he 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 does himself while like fighting, but he wants to be there for Bulma. That's it. He's become a family man. Uh, honestly, if honestly, uh, um, it would make sense if he wanted to wish Bulma immort immortal. Yeah, but he wouldn't do that because he wants. He doesn't. He already lives longer than them naturally. He doesn't want Bulma. Doesn't want to live in more. Bulma doesn't want an infinite life. Uh, but no, like here's the thing though, like a lot. But of you know, he would. He want. He would. He would. He would do it in a heartbeat if she wanted it. Yes, he would. Or he would do anything for Bulma. Like, he would. He almost yeah. did not join the Terminator of Power because Bulma was pregnant, but then they had to make Whis, the fucking Time uh, uh, time Lord. <laughs> Bring in Doctor Who and the Dragon Ball! Yes! Okay. okay. <laughs> in Battle of... In, in Resurrection F, Vegeta had the win on Frieza. Guess what happened? Goku gets shot through the heart, Vegeta's about to win. Whis... Uh, Frieza pulled a 180 on Vegeta and blew up the Earth to give Goku the win. In Whis, rewound time. Boom. Retcon. Vegeta won that fight. I'm sorry. Same thing with Moro. He brought the powers out of him, and I forgot what happened, but they gave Goku a win again. I didn't finish the full Moro hmm. arc, though. It, it, it Technically, at the time that I was reading it, it, didn't, it wasn't finished. So I, I don't really know exactly what happened, but Vegeta bought the power out of him, and of course they're going to give Goku the win. Again. Yeah, even though he didn't really do anything about it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The moment Moro became the planet eater, it was over, because technically it's Goku's fault anyway, because he gave him a sensor beam. Uh, you know how, the moment that happened, social media blew the fuck up. Oh my god. Because it's just, they're repeating it, because he did it with Cell. And he's doing it there. He did it to Frieza, too. He didn't give him a sensor beam, but he baked... Frieza, he's like... He had Frieza cut in half. And Frieza's like, Save me. Don't kill me. And he healed him. Frieza turned on him. He blew up. He blew him up. Namek blew up. Frieza survived. Was killed by Trunks. Permanently. Then they revived him again. But then he died again. Goku actually beat Frieza already in, Re in the Res F movie. Because... For, uh, they have to give somebody the win, and it's not Vegeta. Because even though Vegeta's the one that technically won that fight, because there was a moment where Vegeta jumped in after Go Goku was shot in the heart, Vegeta was pounding the hell out of him. Granted, yeah, Frieza was kind of we weak and wounded from his fight. Vegeta's not the type that would hold back. I say that, but Vegeta has moments where he kind of is cocky. <laughs> so... <clears throat> The whole thing with Cell transforming was all Vegeta. But he slowed down on that. A lot. He's still cocky and arrogant, just not as bad. He's nowhere near what he was. Like, when he fought Frost, oh, he did not. Like, Frost beat Piccolo and Goku because, well, Frost was a cheater. Vegeta knew this. Oh, and he held nothing back. Oh, he held nothing back. <laughs> and he whooped the shit out of him. Oh, and I loved every fucking second of it, because Frost is literally just Frieza from Universe 6. Yeah, but he's actually worse, actually, because Frieza is the one that sells planets. That's his job, right? He's a planet broker. He destroys inhabitants. His men destroys inhabitants, and then they sell, then they buy the planet and sell it. Frost basically started war and solved the war. So he would initially start drama, fix it, and then take the planet. So Frost is a worse Frieza. And Vegeta caught wind of this and held nothing back. Just because of his childhood. Because Frieza's been holding him in downrancy his whole life. Oh yeah, it was in relish. Greatly. If it weren't for the tournament, I think he would have murdered Frost outright. Oh yeah. No, Fre uh, Vegeta's far, far from what he was. He's, he's grown up and I love every second of it. Yeah, he's not childish anymore. No, not as he was. He still has his moments, but he's, like, throughout yeah, well, the he TOP, be a 
throughout the T.O.P., throughout the Moro arc, he's shown that he's nowhere near what he was. He know he knows his mistakes. He's learned. He's even he's even apologized during the when his son died when uh, Cell killed Trunks. He he literally uh. he literally did a whole monologue and rushed right into headlong <coughs> into Cell and got his ass whooped. Vegeta has while he's kind of still rough around the edges. He loves his family. He will always love his family. Like when when Trunks came back, Vegeta Vegeta was one of the headlongs going into Goku Black's fight because of Trunks. Like if like yeah, like yeah, Vegeta has become a, fa uh, a a good father in my opinion. He's a far better father. Always has been actually. He's just a dick. But I love Vegeta though. Like he's still a better character than Goku will ever be. I'm sorry, Goku. You suck, honestly. I'm tired of doing... I'm tired of you repeating yourself. Even the fans... The moment that happened when he gave Moro the sense of being, social media blew them up. Everyone was Why? pissed. Well, because he gave... Oh, he, that, because he gave Moro a sense of being. It's literally repeating itself. He did the same thing with Cell. And when he was fighting Perfect Form Cell before he let Gohan jump in, he threw a Cell a sense of being, made him go up even full. And Cell is... Cell is a android... But he has Saiyan genes, meaning Cell gains power when he gets hurt. So, the, and Goku had Cell, go, while Cell had a lot of energy left, he wouldn't have he free, Vegeta, for instance, would not have been able to win even with the amount of damage he took. But Gohan uh, would have been a decent fight for him because Gohan Super Saiyan is stronger than Goku Super Saiyan at that time. And he's like, yeah, yeah. but this ain't a fair fight. Cell, here you so go, is, boom. Was well, was was um Gohan the youngest Super Saiyan? Yes, he is. 11 years old. Uh, that's the anime canon. I'm not sure if that's the actual age, but he was 11 years old in the anime when he transferred. He, he was the youngest Super Saiyan I ever. Think, I think if he if he grew up a player of Vegeta, I think everybody would be impressed with him. I mean, they were impressed regardless, but yes. they were. Honestly, though, Gohan would have been weaker if he was full-blooded Saiyan. The reason why Gohan's got a strength is because he's half. Uh, half. uh that's because that's. Isn't that's Chi Chi's a, father a god? No, Chi Chi's father is the Ox King. He's not a god. He's oh, he's a king. Him. Okay. He's a king. He was he was a king. He lost his title a long time ago. He had his because when they first met, he's actually the one of uh, Master Roshi's prior uh, students, along with Roshi's. Gohan. No, uh, well, yeah, but uh, him and. Uh, the Ox King and Gohan, or Goku's grand adoptive grandfather Gohan, trained under Master Roshi. That's why Ox King is huge. Also, uh, Ox King, oh. also, also Ox King shrinks every fucking scene. He used to be okay. fucking gigantic. So he's still big, but he's nowhere near as big as he was. That's why. For uh, some reason, Chi Chi is normal is, size, and somehow no, no, his no. wife somehow oh. his wife took his dick inside of her. I don't understand how. Um. No, what I'm trying to say is that, so that's why uh, Gohan was named Gohan because his gra because Goku's yes. grandfather's yes. name was he Gohan. Named, he named his son after his adoptive grandfather, yes. And he also he also put a Dragon Ball on his head, on his hat, the four-star ball on his hat. Yeah, Yeah, which also, also made him a prime target. Yes, and if you, take, if you pay close attention to where Goku's house is on Mount Pau, it's literally right next to his house when he grew up. Gohan's house. Oh. They literally live on the same place where Goku grew up. Well, that's the only place he knows. Well, yeah, of course, but that's where they live. Chi Chi and him live right next door to Gohan's old house. It's all just a nice, big, long nod to Gohan. So, does do does anyone else live in the house now, or is it abandoned? It, uh, no, it's just him and his wife, and that's it. Gohan moved out. No, I meant. Living. Who? Gohan's house? No, oh, man, Gohan's, house. Gohan's house is abandoned, yes. Why didn't they just move it, it, into that house instead of building an entirely new house? Well, because it's small. Also, Chi Chi's oh. family is. Chi Chi's dad still has money. A lot, to believe it or not, huh? all of Goku doesn't have a job. Guess where their money's coming from? Uh, Chi Chi's dad? Mm hmm. Because I think was, Chi Chi's was, dad was, adores. Was, Goku. was, 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 was. Super. Goku has a job in Super was his money ran out uh it was throughout dragon ball z go uh chi chi's been living off of ox king's money and then it ran out 
And now Goku has a job because Chi Chi's forcing it because Chi Chi can't get a job herself. Why can't she get a job herself? She doesn't. I don't know. She. I mean, I get why she wants Goku to have a job because you know she wanted a normal family life. She wants to be the typical home. She mother. probably wants to be the stay home, at mom. home mom. Yep, that's what she wanted. That's what uh, she's been. While Goku was the dad. Who I, th I, I I I think that was what her mother was as well. Most likely, even though you never meet her. You see her in a poster painting. Uh, they have a oh, yeah, pic they have a in picture her father's and hands. Yes, this literally, <laughs> Ox King is palming his wife. That's what I meant by like, how did she take his dick? I don't know because he probably is... he probably can control his size. That is weird to me because he's literally in in the paint. I don't know how canon this is, but in the picture that they have on his wall, it's literally him with his hands out, and she is sitting in his hand. So she's... maybe he is big guy, little dick. Probably. And she's like, <laughs> she, and, and Chi Chi is normal size human, like probably like my height, five seven to five ten maybe. She's normal. Uh, she's a normal average human being. Goku is six something. Ah, uh, so Goku's around my height. Yes, he's tall. He's a six foot guy. Vegeta's like my height. Vegeta's, Vegeta's short. Short. <laughs> Actually, Vegeta's hair is what brings him up a bit more. But no, Vegeta is <laughs> Vegeta's like Vegeta's like five How six. Does He's, that doesn't he's count. Short. His hair doesn't count. Well, it adds height, but no, it doesn't. No, it I'm, doesn't I'm, count. I'm, no, yes, yes, it does. If you're measuring by that, yes, it does. But technically, no. Without his hair, he's even shorter. But no, his hair adds height, just like how wingspans add w length, girth, <coughs> whatever. Width. Not girth. Yeah, width. Thank you. When you measure somebody, you measure everything. That includes wingspan. That you know, hair. The hair. Goku's hair technically adds some extra height to him. But no, Goku is tall. Chi-Chi is about my height. Vegeta is a little shorter than that. Vegeta's tiny. Compared to Goku. Even Gohan, Goku's family has always been tall. Gohan's tall. Gohan's taller than Goku. So how tall was... Um... Fuck, what was his dad's name again? Who's? Bardock. How Bardock? tall is Bardock? Yeah. He's, probably, he's gotta be around Goku's height. I would have to see the uh, two actually stand side by side. Go Bardock is doesn't seem as tall as Goku, but he's he's got to be. Uh, honestly, I think he would be proud of what his son has become. Oh, I'm sure he would. Well, the new Bardock, yeah. The original Bardock can give two fucks until the end of the movie. He didn't give a fuck about Goku at all because he's a typical Saiyan, because Saiyans don't care about family. That's the whole lore why Saiyans never really married. Vegeta, here's the thing. Vegeta? Vegeta's Vegeta? Vegeta's father Vegeta? Only married Queen yeah. Vegeta... Or whatever her real name is, because so they can pass on genes and lineage. That's it. They're the only ones. Royalty, say in royalty, was the only ones with marriage. That's why Bardock never cared. Gr God, like there's couples, say in couples, but they only fuck to pass on their genes. That is it. They don't give a fuck about family. Until the end of Dra until the end of Bardock special, that Bardock is like, oh no, my son. He has the flashbacks because he got the about he's got the ability to gain psychic ability. He gained a psychic ability to see the future, so he knew Frieza was gonna blow up the planet. No one believed him. And then towards the end of the movie, he started to actually care about Goku, and then he he helped send him off, like whatnot. Uh, but then they changed it. They retconned him entirely. They turned him into a scientist, and then his wife exists now. And also, they are the ones who sent him off. Because originally in the movie, it was Frieza scientists that sent Goku off. Yeah. Yeah, they, re they made Bardock canon, but they retconned him. Bardock was made canon in the manga because Akira Toriyama fell in love with that story. So they all, he's, all they do is mention that he looks like when Frieza recognizes him. He's like, because Vegeta goes, Kakarot, because he always calls him that. And Frieza's like, Kakarot? And then he's then there's a flashback where you talk where you see the the flashback of the Bardock movie. That's where they incorporate originally Bardock. Where Bardock in space, ready to whoop Frieza's ass. Yes, and Bardock was never canon until that point. It was hmm. a special. It was just a special. Bardock was made canon due to that, but then they added Bardock into the actual canon. But they so is so is Raditz um Bardock's other son. Yes, he is. Originally so he wasn't. Actually Originally full. he wasn't. All, all. Here's the thing. He was Goku's brother the whole time, but Bardock was never mentioned up until Frieza. Does Frieza actually call call Bardock by name? 
Uh, I believe? I mean, you see a flashback where he's like, Kakarot? Where have I heard that before? That's a Saiyan name, isn't it? And then you see the flashback. And then Frieza's uh, like, ah, yes! He, I don't know if he outright says Bardock, but he recognizes Goku's hairline and whatnot. Because he's a spitting image of his father. Exactly, minus the headband and scar. He, yeah, he's basically Bardock's twin. I exactly. love you. I, I, when, whenever I would play a, 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 a Dragon Ball fighting game, I would always use Bardock. Yeah, like with you and Bleach, I I'm knew... a Dragon Ball nerd, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, um, I knew Bardock was, uh, Ichigo, not Ichigo, uh, Goku's dad, before I Six. even, like, knew about, uh, Dragon Ball. Well, to be fair, though, Bardock is a very old movie. Yeah, because I think it's hand-drawn, isn't it? I don't know. Probably. Most, most of Akira Tor most Dragon Ball is hand-drawn. Except for I'm Super. Not... Well, Super's digital, you're right. Bleach is also digital. Most most modern most modern anime is digital at this point. No, but Dragon and, Ball, and, Dragon Ball and Z were all well. Dragon Ball at least was hand drawn. I'm not sure about the Z. I don't really. I'm not good at that stuff. But I know for a fact Super is digital art now. Everything is all. So off when like a, the a main pad. character of uh, Yu Hakusho gets his demon powers, does his hair grow very 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 long? Yes, it does. Briefly. Okay. He, he cuts it later. Yes, he gains the power of the Mazaku and his hair grows out. What that means is his ancestor is a demon. Yus uh, so ancestral, ancestral his ancestral father is a demon. His real so, parents are human. Okay, he gets so, um, it from his lineage. So he's yes. basically in Yuyasha. Essentially, yes. So when he transforms into the Mazaku, he gains long hair. Yeah. But can he control it? Uh, where, at first, uh, at, where, uh, at, at first, Yasha cannot. At first, no. Later on, he learns to control the Mazaku. Late at first, when he first gets it against Sinsui, no, because the Mazaku is. What happens is the Mazaku pass, uh, passes down its trait via bloodline, and it res and it's a recessive thing, so it skips generations. And it went to Yusuke. Uh. And when Yusuke was tapped out of power, and br it was brought out of him. And the Mazaku, the Physically. actual, his ancestral father took over. And Yusuke was, and then Yusuke was just whooping the crap out of Sinsue, who has the same strength of as a, as a weak S-Class. Like, Sinsue in human, in, in strength terms, Sinsue is an S-Class, which is the strongest of all uh, ranks. But he's the weakest tier version of that. Meaning, Ryzen, Yusuke's father's name, whooped his ass. But yeah, and then he later he later uh, as he was firing his, his spirit gun at him, he he regained his he regained his consciousness and he saw since we get blasted and died from that. And since he was gonna die anyway, because since we is basically Itachi, where he's got an illness and he prolonged his life. Essentially uh. that he's essentially Itachi, where he prolonged his life with drugs and other things just so he can fight Yusuke, because he'd known about Yusuke the whole. time. And then he recruits seven psychics. One of them is a video game master. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Bleach, for copying. Literally, they did that. What do you mean? Bleach. I don't. I don't know any character that's like a video game. Uh, um, the kid with the PSP. Uh, who that? Mercer, please. No, no, no! I'm serious. I have no idea who the hell that is. Go watch the bow, uh, full bring arc again. The kid. I, there's a kid in the full br in, That's in the why I don't know him, because I hate that arc, and I refuse to watch that arc. Okay, fine. That makes sense. There's in, in the full bring <laughs> arc. In the, in the full bring arc, Ginjo Kugo, the previous Soul Reaper. Yeah, the guy who can do the Gatsuka Tensho as well. Guess what since we is. A previous spirit detective. Oh my fucking god. Guess how many members he has on his team? Seven. One of them is a game oh, master. I, I... You see where I'm going with this? They yeah. literally, word for word, not. Re and remember, okay, and it's not just that, but the Aizen fight, you know how it switches between realms? Once it's yeah. in the human realm, whatever. Well, since we battle, starts off in the human world, goes to the demon world. 
I'm sorry, it's word for word copy. They copied Yu Yu Hakusho entirely. Because not only do they have seven members with own unique abilities, one of them is a game master. One kid dies to Karama during a match three Tetris kind of game where it's like, where it's instead of Tetris blocks, it's numbers. So it's match set three sevens in a row. Karama yeah. beats him, he dies. It's kind of the same process, but each member has their own abilities. One of them has the ability to cut himself and take blood and fuse it with water to create water monsters. Then there's another guy that does, um, there's other kids that can turn, there's one kid that's not part of his team, but there was another psychic that has the ability to take puzzle games. So like he would come up with a word and if anyone utters this word, your soul is taken out. So there's a, there's a bunch of unique abilities within Yu Yu uh, 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 since we arc stuff. It's really interesting. And one of them was a game master. I'm sorry, Bleach copied, because Yu Yu Hakusho is 90s. Yeah, I know. Well, earlier than that. Also kind of copied, I think, Dragon Ball a little bit, too, didn't it? Oh, it, yeah. Well, of course, a lot of things are. A lot of things were... A lot of a lot of shonen anime uses Dragon Ball, because that's at the time where these guys all grew up with Dragon Ball. So they... And, and even in the mangas, if you read some of the mangas, they even outright throw love at Akira Toriyama, because they're their inspiration for doing manga, a lot of it. So they, there's actually scenes in the manga for Naruto, Bleach, where they draw Goku in their style. It's really cool. Yeah, they pay homage to Akira Toriyama a lot, because back then, Akira Toriyama was like the god of manga, for whatever reason. Dragon Ball, even though Dragon Ball didn't start it off rough, everyone applauded him for being like the god of modern shonen. But yeah, no, uh, Bleach and Yu Yu Bleach unfortunately copied Yu Yu Hakusho a lot. Like, what is one of the downfall to it? Like, the storytelling is better, but, like, I just, Yu Yu Hakusho to me is much shorter, so it's, it's better. And Tori, oh god, I hate the final arc though. Ugh. The whole thing is a massive tournament. Like, it, it also doesn't even show it in the anime. The anime, they, they show most of it, then it just stops. The manga finishes it up. I really like the manga version better, but, uh, uh the final arc sucks. I hated it. I hated it so much. The fourth season, the rest of it was so bad. But no, like, yeah. Unfortunately, it's it's homage. I get it, but they did it word for word with... With Ginjo Kugo being the previous spirit detective... Or, Soul Reaper. And uh, Sinsui, Shinobu Sinsui being the previous spirit detective who went rogue. Need I say more? Nope. I'm not trying to say that they did it, but it literally is. If you were to watch both of them, you will facepalm. And, and and it makes it worse because I do love Bleach a lot, and I grew and I and I started with Bleach back when it first came out. I remember I remember Bleach when it first came out. Like the music is so good, the drawings are so good, but then like the Eisen fight is probably my favorite arc. But they. As much as I did enjoy some of the stupid bo uh, shit, I keep calling it bounce art just because I like this. It's just easier to say, but it's not accurate at all. Uh, the whole shit with Ginjo, like Kugo, and I, I, I did enjoy the premise. Just it was really, it is the bad. It's the worst arc, yeah. Unfortunately, I like Kugo. He's an interesting character. I just didn't like what they tried to do. Oh no, he's a rogue soul reaper. Substitute Soul Reaper. Yay, another one of this. Because since we went... Here's the thing. Since we, the previous spirit detective that worked before Yusuke, was on a mission for something. He ended up walking in on these humans torturing demons and literally bathing in their blood, and the dude went batshit insane. And he was a teenager, I think, or an early an adult when this happened, so his mind was fractured horrendously. And then he uh, came up with seven personalities. Yes, he's got seven personalities. So, like, he'll be talking one minute, and then he'll have a different voice the next minute. And <laughs> messed up. Really messed up. I love Sinsui. I do. That's, that's actually a really good character, because he's complicated. But, unfortunately, Bleach kind of fell short there. <laughs> It is the weakest arc, I'm gonna give you that. Uh, and that, like, one of my favorite characters' ideas out of that wasn't even a bad guy. The dude that can take away your memory with the bookmark. 
I like the premise of that and all, but then you find out that he's really not a bad guy. And I'm just like... I do like Kugo's design when he transforms into his uh, hollow form, or whatever it is. His full bring. Full bring, hollow looking form, yeah. Ichigo has a, a similar one. Since we's since we's got abilities that are close to demons as well, a lot of he's got the power of a demon, S class rank demon, and he's got abilities very close to demons. <sighs> they didn't even try to make that different. They really didn't. The only thing Kinjo Kugo doesn't have is seven split personalities. That I know of. It's not bad. I think his writing is better. Uh, Kubo's. Bleach's uh, creator. Artist. Yeah, tight Kubo. Yeah, his art, his writing is better. His he's just Bleach is just long. Yu Hakusho is only four seasons long, and it's not very long manga wise either. And it's it is long though. It's over six hundred minutes per season. I'll tell you that right now. Each season is horrendously long. But it's kept short, unlike Dragon Ball, where. It's still going. Let's see. Dragon Ball, entire Dragon Ball, is 14 seasons? Because Dragon Ball is 5, and Z is 9. And Dragon Ball and Z, Dragon Ball, like Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, it's not split. They only did that for the anime, to split the differences. So when they called it Z, that just tells you that it's adult, more grown up. That You know, they did that to split yeah. this. So it's just Dragon Ball. And just like how it's Naruto and Naruto and Boruto, there is no sh there is no technical Shippuden. Shippuden exists only for the anime. Same with Dragon Ball Z. The only there's there's Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super. Also, GT kind of doesn't exist because that's not canon. As much as I would love for Super Saiyan 4 to be, that's the only. Like, Super, or Dragon Ball GT's not that bad. I actually really enjoyed the dragon fights, the Shadow Dragon, Final Dragon fight against Omega or Sin Shenron. Unfortunately, even that is really bad to a degree because there's just... <laughs> but no, the Shadow Dragon arc is the best arc out of that, and even fortunately that got horrendously horrible. That, that, they didn't do not do much with any of the other dragons besides Nova, or uh, oh, Nova and Omega. Uh, and Omega only becomes Omega after absorbing the other six Dragon Balls. He's normally known as Sin Shenron. I don't even get me started on GT. I'm a big Dragon Ball nerd for anyone who's not for anyone who's not used to the channel. I'm sorry. Like I love Dragon Ball. I'll go in and on and on and on and on to the point where I will become annoying. Like a lot of people call it the Saiyan saga. The anime call the anime's the back of the DVD box calls it the Vegeta saga. Just like how Mercer is with me with calling it the Rescue Rikia arc. Same thing. I don't even acknowledge GT. It's it's exactly. No one does. <coughs> no one acknowledges GT at all. And we know for a fact, even if you did want to acknowledge it, we all know it's not canon. No, regardless of the fact. And to me, I haven't watched GT in years. In fact, I haven't collected it because it's only technically two seasons. The big brick sets, it's only two. And don't even get me started on the Black Star Dragon Ball arc. With Baby. As much as, I, as much as I love the ending of Baby's uh, fights, where he becomes Grade 8 Baby, yes, the villain's name is Baby, he's literally just a, he's a, he's a test tube monster that was made on Planet M2, which is a metal planet. But then he just, then they eventually come up with Dr. Mew and Dr. Jerome meet in Hell and create Evil 17. Woo! And then you get Super 17, and then Hell... Uh, then they freaking open the gates to hell and Vegeta gets to kill Nappa again. <laughs> oh, that's the best part. <clears throat> Watching Vegeta just blow Nappa up again was great. Only Pan is... To be honest, true, Pan was a great character out of GT, even though people hate her uh, in that entire thing. I loved Pan's character in that. And Pan's great in, in Super. Pan is great in Super. I love that she's just like fucking shit up, even as a baby. <laughs> she had she had fucking Trunks's sword in his in her hand, and she's fucking Trunks is like, what the hell is happening? 
<laughs> and here she is, just fucking around with trunks in Super, and I love it. It's so wholesome. Ugh. And since she's Quarter Saiyan, she should technically be stronger than her father, but she's not. Oh, really? She's not stronger than Vegeta? Uh, Gohan? No. Oh, yeah, Go. Gohan's her father. No, she should be, because she's technically Quarter. But no, she's not, because they do nothing with her. Yet. They didn't anyway in the original. Now that she's actually born in Super, because Super's a big flashback, essentially. It, it's it's supposed to lead into the end of Z. Yeah, they're retconning Z. That's what they're doing with Super. Super is to retcon Z. It's supposed to explain the time gap from Boo to the end of Z where he meets Oob. That's what Super is. The time gap. The in-between, what, seven years or whatever it was? So that's why people, that's why Vegeta and Goku are still slightly younger. That's why Super Saiyan Blue now exists. But they're retcon... They made Goku stronger now than he was at the end of Z. Which doesn't make any sense. <coughs> the, no, it, it, it's retconning. I'm sorry. This is Dragon Ball Z is all about retconning and it's pissing me off. Because it doesn't make any sense. Because Oob at the end of Z is literally the same strength if not stronger than Kid Buu. But Goku was stronger than him, yes, because he continues training. But now Goku's even stronger than that. And it's going to make no sense because Oob or Boo is nowhere near that strength. Or Oob, for that matter, because Oob doesn't have any training until Goku meets him. Because that, that's where they take off. That's where the series ends. He takes off with Oob and trains him. That's when GT begins, where he's on the lookout with Oob. I can go on. And don't even get me started on GT. I'm sorry. GT, GT is GT. <sighs> Honestly, GT only exists because money. Fuck. One there's literally like a um. There's literally a achievement I could have gotten right there called Saving Private Ryan because I could save a uh, private that's named Ryan. Oh my god! Did they really? They didn't, did they? Yeah. yeah no, they did it. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in years. But no, you're right, Al. They did. Oh, they, 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 they did. They nerfed Goku heavily, which is nice because he's a kid. They made him a kid again, and there are brief moments where he can become an adult, i.e. Super Saiyan 4, but it can't last forever. Because, well, Super Saiyan's always been about stamina, which is why there's moments where they power down. But Goku's kid form can only be adult sustained as Super Saiyan 4. So, and here's the problem, though. Super Saiyan kid Goku is far stronger than Goku that we know as an adult because his base power level is so damn dumb. The fucking power scaling in GT is so dumb. That's what I don't care about power scaling, but there's those YouTubers out there that are like all about. They're like Quaman and all them on YouTube. They're bigger DBZ nerds than I am, and yeah, you kind of think like, who the hell is bigger than you? Oh, plenty, plenty. There's people on there. There's people on the on YouTube that just make their entire channel based off Dragon Ball. These are the guys that say that Boo or uh, that say that Super Boo is stronger than Kid Boo, when Super Boo absorbed is not a form. Because he Kid was Boo is, that, uh, jacked not, Boo, right? Skinny Boo, jacked Boo. Well, he's he not jacked. He's just very tiny. There, the the jacked Boo that you see with the muscles, that's still Super Boo. That's Super Boo after absorbing oh. one of the Kai's, and then shortly thereafter he absorbed another Kai and then became fat. Kid Boo is the original form that was just born out of nowhere. Then they also retcon that. Kid Boo was originally made by Bibbidi. No, they changed that. He was born with the Earth, the existence of the universe. Yeah, they retcon Boo too. But no, um, uh, the reason why I say that Super Boo absorbed with whoever is not stronger is he is technically, but he's not an actual form because Kid Boo is the official form of Boo. Him technically absorbing the Kai's is a digressive state, so I don't consider them actual forms. They're not transformations. They're power he's downs. Like, so he's like Frieza? They're absor yeah, they're... Well, no. No. Kinda. Kinda, but without transformations. Frieza has natural transformations. Boo absorbed these things. These aren't natural transformations. These are absorptions. Which is why I don't technically consider them forms, because they're not. Boo doesn't have any. So Fat Boo only exists because Kid Boo absorbed two Kais into his body, weakening him. Weakening him in the sense where, yeah, his first transformation actually made him stronger. 
the fat boo made him weaker, which is odd because he absorbed the el the, the 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 grand Kai of the supreme Kai's, the elder of them all, who technically should be the strongest. But it's kindness. His kindness turned him into the fat jolly boo, which weakened him. So he went from pure evil to pure not pure goodness, but still goodness. Kid Boo is pure evil, just pure evil incarnate. He does not know anything. He's he's in fact he's got the lowest intelligence out of most characters. Yeah. But that's why I consider Kid Boo the strongest, just because he's that. He's the final villain. That's like considering that's like cons I don't know what I'm gonna say. That's never mind. There's no other villain that's similar that I can compare it to. Because Sal and Frieza all have forms. And they're the same person, unlike the other forms of you, Boo. You can consider Eisen, you can consider Eisen from, I, if you want, I think. I don't think Eisen has forms. Technically, no, but he does He does fuse with the Hyoku. Oh, Hyoku. Thank you. Yep. That's, that is a form. He does become, what, hollowish? Yeah, he becomes like a weird hollow soul reaper hybrid. That is a transformation, but it's not natural. Not like Cell's... Well, Cell's technically isn't natural either, because he, he absorbs. Not like Goku's and Vegeta's, where they actually just gain these powers through rage. Frieza's as well. Frieza's is the only villain that technically has a natural transformation. Because Cell's is... Cell is a cyborg. Actually, he's not. Technically, he's not. He's not technically a cyborg either. He's full-on organic, actually. Cell was born from the cells of other beings, including humans as well as Saiyans. He's technically 100% pure organic. He ha his transformations, though, are gained by stealing, for absorbing the androids. Boo's powers and transformations were gained from absorbing Kai's. Frieza is the only one with a natural transformation out of the villain. So and is Kai a title as well? Kai, yes. The Supreme Kai's, the Supreme Kai's that we know, the purple aliens, they're the gods of creation. Beerus is the god of destruction. But right. Beerus is purple. Yeah, but he's also a bunny rabbit. Not really. He's more of a cat. He's a he's a cat. He's an Anubis. He's a he's a big pussy. Yes, he is. But he looks like <laughs> a bunny because of the ears. But no, like yeah. No, he's uh, supposed they, to be a uh, Siamese cat. He, no, Anubis actually, because he's he's an Egyptian uh, god. Take a look at his outfit. He's based off the Egyptian god. Ah. Uh, he's an Anubis. Anubis was a dog. Was it? Am I thinking of something else? Yeah. Like? Whatever. It's whatever, yes, you know what I mean? Is a dog. Okay, Yours whatever. Is a cat. Yeah, I know that, but I'm just bad. Okay, I'm just not intelligent. Just forget my, just forget me. Just forget everything I said. I think they mixed um, how the Egyptians worshipped cats and mixed them with the god of death. Well, it's one Anubis, whatever. Whatever, I'm done. I'm just done talking about Dragon Ball. I'm showing my intelligence. My lack thereof, in fact. Whatever. I'm done. Oh, it's fine. It's like I'm just explaining how, how they, how the Egyptian reference was in there. I, I know. I get, that's what I and mean. And why he's I, the cat. I, I, I get it, but I'm was, also showing my lack uh, of intelligence, and that's upsetting me now. Wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh like all about Egy Egyptian shit? Yes. Yes. Go, uh, freaking Yugi's ancestor is a pharaoh. Oh really? I I I, I, I love how the millennium how the millennium himself. eye the millennium eye oh, all I, that I, yes I, they're Egyptian gods I, I, yes I I I, I, I Pharaoh, love how Yugi, Pharaoh Pharaoh Yugi based Yugi is just a pussy Yugi and then Yugi's he, dark form I, dark dark and Yugi then he becomes a badass Pharaoh. yeah dark Yugi is Pharaoh Yugi yes he becomes like an utter badass and it's freaking awesome but I'm already showing my lack there of intelligence so I'm just gonna stop talking. I've upset myself now. Yeah, and unfortunately in the show, they had him, like, say his name, Yu-Gi-Oh! when he transformed. Oh. Yeah. But yes. I don't think it would uh, I like, be I apparent like, I like to playing the card game. his attitude was, would be the only thing that changed. I consider them two different characters. Who, Pharaoh Yugi and Yugi? Yep. Just like I could say. They technically are, like, yeah. because they technically I are. Yugi's, like... Yugi's balls drop hell of a great deal <laughs> um like just like oh, i yeah. consider hollow ichigo and ichigo two separate beings well goku going super saiyan for the first time was technically different because he was pissed the hell gohan was like what the fuck and, happened to you and and, and and i consider vlad tepish and alucard two different people as well 
mean, they, I mean, it just depends. Like, Goku is not the same person when he was mad. Oh, God, no. Oh, but no, he got no. Yes, Super but Saiyan, Pharaoh, he gets very serious. Yes, he did. Oh, he was pissed. Yeah. No, but Pharaoh Yugi is a completely different character to actual Yugi that we know. Yeah. Bye. So, um... There was an amazing well of Gumball episode that uh, referenced Dragon Ball because uh, someone was picking on Gumball's sister, and Gumball goes Super Saiyan one. What doesn't? Codenames Kids Next Door did yeah. reference Dragon Ball as well. Number four was Goku, and then the delightful children was supposed to be Five Headed Frieza. <laughs> oh really? Yes, he did a uh, the Kamehameha wave. You know how they use like household items for everything. Instead of yeah. the actual Kamehameha wave, he did a gumball blast. It like it was, you know, he took out chewing gum, and then he did the Kamehameha wave with gum. The delightful children was meant to be Frieza. It was a five-headed Hydra-esque Frieza. It was weird. It was really weird. And it was once. Like, I've only seen that episode twice. It was, go look up, <laughs> codenames Kid Next Door, Dragon Ball Z, even bo ba 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 reference Dragon Ball. They, the, the, there's like, there's a character in there that's a son. There's a character in Bobobo that's a son. Him and Bobobo fused. Need I say more? Yeah. Nope. Bobobo, Bobobo, Bobobo. Yeah. That's the anime. I'm, I'm but, replaying uh, the World at War campaign, but I hired to look Sorry, what, Al? My food's nearly here, so I'll be AFK. It's all good. But yeah, no, uh, most animes are going to reference Dragon Ball or most cartoons, 90s cartoons or t early 2000s. Is that because what they're, uh, a lot of their, a lot of their uh, based on is because that's what they grew up on. Naruto's creator, Bleach's creator, they all grew up on Dragon Ball. They even reference it in parts in the mangas when you read because they have like little beginning stories. They write like stuff on how certain things happened or they go into detail on certain things. And a lot of them have a picture of drawing Goku in their own style. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen a bunch of them in uh, my, uh, the thing. Uh, in my, uh, whatchamacallit feed. Nice. Instagram feed. Um, there's been ones where they've drawn, uh, Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan and Dragon Ball, Bleach, Naruto, fucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Um... My Hero Academia. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know where this is. Uh, someone drew Goku as a Soul Reaper. Oh, nice. Cap and then when they drew him going Super Saiyan in the Soul Reaper form, he had a hollow mask. Nice. It was kind of cool. Cool. Not like I care, game. Not like I care. Yeah, I totally don't care, game. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off, man. It's not like I care. Not like I care. It's not like my game's gonna sit there and potentially lose fucking save file progress because you want to be an ass and just freeze. Yeah, even the game is getting tired of me. Good. Even the game got tired of me. Well, that just... I might as well... Even the game's getting fed up with me. God damn it. Why, game? Why? Fucking damn it.
I should have been playing, but nah. Now, nah, I should have been playing, but nah. I was enjoying the talking, but not like my stream's not suffering or anything. When doesn't my stream suck? Why can't people just use my Discord and actually just post in the going live posts? I'm trying to get my average views up, I'm at 1.28. Damn. I thought he would have been farther up than that. I wish, I hope, I wish Broken the best of luck on that. If I end soon enough, I probably won't be ending that soon within the next hour or two, but I would rage broken if I was ending now. But I'm not. I don't know if he's getting off. I just noticed his... I just saw the Discord message. God damn it. Journey to the capital, Lendell. To the east of the Altus Plateau. At the foot of the Earth. Capital of Lendell to the east of the Altus. Yeah, because I can't remember dialogue and I'm horrible at games. Ugh. East of Lindell. Okay. Elta, east of Elta Plateau. Uh, but it's over here. <laughs> That's probably why. Because I need to get into here. Ah, I gotta sit there and learn how to be better at games and remember dialogue. Divine Tower of Kaled Center. Divine Tower of Kaled Basement. I don't remember what's in there at all. Uh. There's the Ferrum Great Bridge. I don't. Mm. I'm back. Welcome back. Adana is restoring. You're what's restoring? We're back. A dinosaur story. Ah. It's an old, old cartoon. Hmm. I grew up on Cartoon Network, and that's it. This was before Cartoon Network. Exactly. Well, unfortunately, I'm a child. I don't have... I'm not old enough. Oh, it's a 1993 film. Ah, well, I mean, I was born in 89. Still too young. Oh, crap, right into that. It's a Steven Spielberg cartoon movie. Ah. An animated adventure comedy film. Nice. Motherfucker, would you stop flying the moment I get to you, you horn. Me bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say whore, but then I said horn. Then I said horny. Funny thing is, we're back at Dinosaur Story. Came out the same year as Jurassic, the first Jurassic Park. Oh, nice. <laughs> somebody copied somebody's homework. A lot of a lot of people do. game what the fuck was that i had i totally made it i totally made that but nah also i hate that i knock him down and i get caught on his wing and i'm too lazy to go around it so i'd rather hit it oh my god fuck it i just suck i suck i suck i suck Come on, man! 
Ah, I see. Fucking wow. This fight's not hard anymore. I wish I was better. If it's not hard anymore, they make builds for that. Okay. Whatever. I'm not really. really I mean, I. Too ugly for that. Hey, no. that's not what I meant, and you know it. I don't care. I didn't say I you. I was meant making that. a joke of what you said. And I just told you the truth. I didn't say and... you said it. I didn't say you said it. All I did was tell you the truth. My belief. I'm sorry. Since when did I ever have love for myself? You know that I don't. When my streams go south, you know how I am. And normally when I'm here, it goes better. Well, or they even out. I mean... They still suck. You just, you just say they're better. That's your opinion. When I'm here. So they're... I mean, so you're admitting they're bad without you. So my streams suck, you're saying. So you are uh, you no. are admitting it. You are admitting it. Good. At least at least you're telling me the truth on it. So thank you. That's all I need to know. I know what you're you mean. You're too hard on yourself. No, not really. I'm just telling you the truth. And you blame me? It this is who I am naturally. I'm not being hard on myself at all. This is who I am. I've always been this way. I've always been this way. I'm sorry. Fine, I just won't be I won't be honest, but if you want me to be 100 percent me, you're gonna get me. I've never loved myself once. Not once have I ever loved myself. So you've never masturbated. Oh my god. I've never once cared. That word before. literally means self-love. I've never once cared about myself. You're trying to make me laugh. Maybe. Stop. Mostly I was trying to make you feel better, not to laugh. Oh, good. No, I don't want to, I don't want to feel better right now. I just want to make it the truth. Right? I'm sorry, I don't love myself, never have. I don't mean to be a depressive little bitch, but I am a depressive little bitch. Why do you think my name is Lil B? Actually, my name is Lil B. Still, I'm still a bitch. <laughs> Even though I, you are, I still love you. I still suck, though. When, where, and how hard? Every night. Look, 
I know I don't suck, alright? I just have no love for myself and never have, never will. Oh, you son of a bitch! Kill these cunt. Whoa, that's hot. Coming up behind me, hit me in the back of the head with your fucking rifle like a cunt. How the hell did you even get behind me? All my men were behind oh, me. How did you survive that? I'm out on the beach, and there's like 50 marines behind me, all armed with M1 Grants. Okay, Rans. Oh, it's about Karen. Damn it! Actually. Stop! Let me dodge or something. Like you're like you're attacking right as I do, because you're not attacking right away. If you would just attack. Right away. It was good, Rickard. How are you doing? What? Rickard? Rickard. I come. I called you a boss in this game, whose name is Rickard. Sorry, Rickard. How are you doing? I heard red card. No, that? no. I I said Rickard. I said Rickard. It sounded like it, but no. I said Rickard. I know what I said. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, and you're having to fight on the bridge. Yes, that's what's making it worse. Because I have dodge his fire and his tail and his mouth and his and whatever else. And it's not easy to do when your options are limited. It's like you have to run one way, then the other. The other way, and I'm on a horse that sucks. Yes, I don't like the horse in this game. Also, my attacks are, like, worse. They're better on the horse because I'm zipping and out, but... I want to just hit him and dodge. That's it. But my character has a thing where I attack a couple of times and then he stops midway through his stamina meter. Fucking hell, man. If he would just attack faster. Like right there, how am I supposed to dodge that? Because I'm jumping, I'm not paying attention to his attacks. I'm just trying to hit him. The horse makes me careless. Like, I don't care it, when I'm on foot that I care. The horse is there for me to sit there and wreck him. Like, I don't care. So long to the freaking hover. Going good. You hovered right above me, you jag off! Stop swinging, dude! What the fuck? See, the delay swings. Like, I'm hitting the button, but it's not swinging in time anyway. Are you jumping off for? Oh, that one button that you have to turn off in the fight. Because the mouth button is, I think, the left stick push in. Yep. Or one of the L buttons. I got that. Yeah, the the joystick L3 is to get off the horse. And the same as it's off the crouch. I'm not the one to turn it off though. Why make it? I 
tell you after he blew the fire, you just calmly walked underneath him, chugging your potion. That's this. Yeah, I know. Not only that, I, I framed it. That's like so badass. I, I framed it prior fire. Oh god, I see when he does that, I don't know where he's doing. Because he's, when he's hovering above me like that, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, and it's either a stop or he's raising fire. Yes. It's annoying. Dumb bitch. Get your fire breathing ass out of here. Come on, breathe fire, breathe fire, breathe fire, breathe fire. Yes, 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 yes. You're done, bro. Get up! No, no, no. Oh. Okay, not your reason, fire not landing on me. Damn it! No! Ah. <clears throat> it's over! Done! Get out of here! Great enemy held. Ooh, a dragon heart. <sighs> Fuck that fight. <sighs> How's the stream? It's going shitty. I mean, not really, it's not. It's just I'm being a little pessimistic little bitch because I've completely missed dialogue because I was talking and... I also just re di disregard dialogue because I'm bad at that, because I can't remember for shit. My memory is god-awful. The stream's going well. It's just I'm being a pessimistic little bitch. When don't I learn? And that's what scares people away, unfortunately. I can't control my actions. I'm sorry. I'm just... I, I've been doing nothing this whole stream. I've been... Every... Like, I could have beaten this game by now. I've only beaten two story bosses because of my poor memory. This is why I can't do games once a week. Why I couldn't do Final Fantasy once a week because of that. Because my memory is god awful. But no, like I don't I might like I don't think the stream is good because of my just I've been doing nothing. It took me long enough to get to where I did and then I spent another 5 hour, 3 hours just doing nothing and then there was a moment where we were just all talking. And now I regret missing dialogue. Unfortunately, I was being talked to when it was happening. And I completely... It, I never even had the dialogue in my head. It was gone over my head completely. Like, I, I don't want help, though, unfortunately. It's just, I, I don't know what's happening. I just, I don't, like... Can you every... retalk to the end, Steve? Yes, but they don't uh, give out the same dialogue again. I am oh. number four in chat. Going back to the kids next door. Are you now? Nice. Yeah, I can talk to her, but she doesn't give out the same dialogue. It's it's my fault. It's my fault. I'm not I'm not blaming anyone else, but it's it's I was being talked to. That's all. Um, cool part of a Red Dead Redemption. If you miss dialogue, you press the pause button and go down to the journal, and it'll have all of the dialogue you missed in notes. Or Good. In my, well, the biggest downfall about this is the game is open world. Uh. I, I play Red Dead Redemption now. Well, no, the biggest downfall about this game being open world is I have bad memory. Names aren't something I learn until I play the game enough. I can't learn names and things until I play the game enough. This is my first playthrough. Everyone else has beaten the game already. Everybody plays games at, at their own pace. Everyone else is good. No, some are getting into it late because they didn't want to do all the popular things and flood the market with one game. So. I, I know I'm good at Souls. I know I'm good at Souls. My memory is awful. That's all. 
it stresses me out because I don't want, I also have a thing where I hate being made fun of. And I feel like everyone's just laughing at me. That's my belief, not that it is happening. It's just, I don't like, I like, I want, I'm, a, I'm an artist, damn it, I want my streams to be good. Your streams I, are good because it's you who's doing them. What do you mean? You are the one who makes them good. Do I? Um, yeah. Your personality. When you're having fun, it shows. I'm still having fun. I just wish my streams... I just wish I didn't have this issue and people watching me do nothing but run around like an idiot. <laughs> and I thank you. Thank you. What do you think I do in Dead Rising? I run around like a freaking idiot. That's your... What? Skyrim. Because also oh, I don't want to do the story. <laughs> yeah, but that's you guys. You guys don't care what people think. I always have because it's... I, I'm a sensitive little bitch, damn it. I know, you're like blurry face. I can't help it. You care I, what people think. Yes. Well, because I, 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 I'm only happy when people are happy with me. I'm not happy by myself. That's why. Mm -hmm. Because people all my life have hurt me for me. That's why. My whole stress, my anxiety, my stress, all of it is because of my childhood. And unfortunately, it's affecting everything. And it's, and it's hard to make friends and it's hard to make relationships. Because whenever people have left my house, I always feel like I'm being ditched or whatever. Whenever girls would leave, I'd always feel like they're leaving me. And, and, and it's not the case. It's just I can't control who, how I feel. Like, I've also been used, lied to, cheated on, stolen from. And it, it's caused a lot of issues for me. I'm also yeah. a sheltered little girl. Unfortunately, I don't know the real world. Like I not the, the, none of this has to do with the game. This is, has to do with my life. This is why I am the way I am. Did I go for my cigarette. Right. Now I have a song stuck in my head because you said it's my life. It's my life. It's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. That song? Yes. Bon Jovi. Yeah. So, I was I was thinking of My Life by Lil Wayne, but that's because I don't listen to music. Also, I don't know music titles very much, except for that song. I know that song, but, but yeah. But still, like, I don't... Uh, uh, I've uh, uh, never I really been in a music. music titles and stuff is because I listen to Pandora Radio. I don't really listen to I'm, a lot of music. I'm just really into music. I've been listening to nothing but Nickelback all day. And yeah, people, you can sit there and judge me all you want. I know people hate Nickelback. I love, I, I don't love them. I, like, I, I don't, I don't know why. I for a refund, all I got was a Nickelback. God damn it. Well, accurate. <laughs> 50 Cent does not deserve a refund. Accurate, Curtis Jackson doesn't deserve. Well, actually, I'm wrong. 50 Cent's actually got good music. But nice joke. Thank you, I needed it. <laughs> There's a your mama joke about that too, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Why? I don't know, because I just don't like making fun of people's moms. I mean, who says it has to be about anyone's mother? I used to watch your mama. Well... Oh, so you know which one I'm talking about? Well, I know, I know of the stupid reality show, your mama. Yes. All right. So the one, the one I'm talking about is where he goes, your mama's so stupid. She thought Nick, uh, something Nickelback. See, ah, oh, fuck! I forgot the joke. Hey, yeah, now, now it you, up. now it's butchered, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, yeah, I fucked it up. I just <laughs> need to watch the episode again. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, your mama's so stupid. She put two quarters in her ear. I thought she was listening to Fifty Cent. Uh, Knew that one. <laughs> ha -ha, there it is. Yeah, unfortunately, it was butchered though. No, 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 I, I wasn't trying to say that set one before. I was trying to do the Nickelback one. Yeah, the but... 50 set one was a totally different joke. Uh... And funny, also, I have two quarters sitting on my nightstand. But no, I do enjoy Nickelback music. I never, I don't understand the hate for them, really. I get they're not the best. I really, I really like, I really like their song, Animal. Uh, it's alright. My, my favorite song... That song. 
I don't even know if I've had sex to music. I just I don't um, listen to a lot. Of, I, I don't listen. music that gets me going. I don't really listen to a lot of music, but Animals is a good song. My favorite song. Uh, my, candy my, Shop my, gets me going. Candy Shop. Porn star dancing. Yeah, Nick. Uh, Fifty Cent's uh, Candy Shop. Yes. I take it. Candy. Shop. Yeah. Shop. Any 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 song about Dude, sex gets me going. I got. Oh, here's a good, uh, Yo Mama So Fat. She got her tail nose painted at Earl Scheib. I don't know what that means. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't either. It's a, a uh, car place. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> that's good. Good. I get it. <laughs> I, I'm not a car person, but that's good. No, because nose. The front of a car, I get it. Uh -huh. Oh, that's good. <coughs> Your mom was so ugly. One direction went in the other direction. I miss that show now. That show was so dumb, but it was classic. I uh, followed the I, I was in, I was in high you school. Scheduled the point with Dr. Pepper after she fell off Mountain Dew. <laughs> I was in high school when this came out. Yo, mama. Yeah, I follow uh, I follow the cre he's the creator's giving dating advice on uh, Instagram now. That's hilarious. <laughs> follow him on Instagram. Oh, look, here's a hundred fifty of my kind of jokes. <laughs> some are good, some are bad. I'm just nodding. I just why did the football coach go to the bank? Hmm. Get his quarterback. I can't. Wait. I see. I can't. I'm not good at jokes because I don't get. I, I can't think of what the pun is. The punchline is. Yeah. Why can't a leper hide? Mm, He's always why? spotted. Ah. That was good. Air used to be free at gas stations. Now it costs two fifty. You want to know why? Why? Inflation. <laughs> uh, that one's a little too, uh, a little too real for right now. Yeah, unfortunately. And we turn bright no microwave. Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? No. He just wanted a bit more space. <laughs> Forgetting the mission. I'm sorry, V. Punishment for Are these poems. bad jokes? Father, mother, no, I'm listening to dialogue, sorry. Has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. Why are fish so smart? Lord. Why? Yet I... They live in schools. Though it was not my oh my god. I betrayed him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Think he'd order his men to enact or how about tragedy. this? What's the best thing about Switzerland? What? He once told me I don't know, but the flag the is a big plus. He would never allow the down <laughs> to be cheated ever again. Because that's true, the flag is a big fucking plus. Is this bitch telling me she's the daughter of the actual Lord, the final boss or whatever? No, how could I say? <laughs> Father has always given me his guidance. And now... She mentioned Why something do peppers about make good, such good archers? Because they're special. I don't know. Because they have an arrow. I wasn't wrong. I'll gladly take it. This bitch just mentioned she's the daughter of Gideon, the Elden Lord. Good. I'm not like the oh. weaker. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still. Ah, so you're not Ash, intelligent when it comes to magic, I see. First hawk. Thank you. I'm not I, I'm not intelligent, period. In I mean, age, neither am I, but here I am, I you guys say otherwise. Storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. Hey, you're doing fine. In this ash. It reminds me of my first hawk. You should get a little down on yourself. You're so oh. good. Uh, I mean I'm street smart, not book smart. And I'm kind of the opposite. I'm a little bit street smart and book smart. Oh, Mostly I'm. I smart, do though. not. Uh, yes, but I don't know the knowledge of the real world. Sorry, I don't. Unfortunately, I, I don't got you hosted. 
I got you hosted, Brett. Brett. Hosted? I'm ho- Whoa, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Look, I don't so mean to be- the host club? Yes. I don't mean to be down on myself, <laughs> but unfortunately, people have always just pushed me down. And then I get s My anxiety just works up whenever I- I am plea, would you like? Don't do well in a game because I want people to see nothing but 100% from me. The hug lady. Yes, I don't want her. Apparently, she debuffs your ass. Thank you, Lolly, for that. It can actually be a good thing because, yes, it does debuff you, but it also buffs you in other ways. And you get a potion that uh... takes away the negatives for a while, and then once the potion runs out, the debuffs and the buffs go away, and you're oh, back to he, normal. He never, he just told me that she debuffed me. He never said any of that, unless I just. Okay, then. Well, thank you. Yeah, it debuffs your health and. Stamina? Well, he told he told me yeah he told me it it is there was a debuff on me. He never told me any of the positives slash negatives. <coughs> so what are the positives? Your I don't HP and stamina go down. Everything else goes up. Oh oh. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I'd rather have a lot of health. that can go up if you're so inclined. Uh, I'd rather have more damage, but is it... I'd rather have more damage output because I'm used to limiting myself. There's a lot of things that will limit your damage, or limit your health, but also give you more damage output. And at, my, at this point, when it comes to other Souls games, I don't need health that much. I just need damage output with weapons. I can't beat the game at soul level 1, no, but I can beat the game as long as I have enough damage and health output. The only problem I'm the only reason why I'm losing so much is because I don't I'm not that high of a level. My my stats aren't great personally. I can beat this at the current level I'm at, but I'm just not I just I need more damage. But no, I know I'm good at Dark Souls. I've always have been. It's just... I can't win without damage. I don't have the patience, nor do I have the skill to continuously dodge, because a game can easily fuck me over, or I can easily misread an attack. Like I was with that dragon. That dragon's not hard, never was. I could have beaten it a long time ago. I was just waiting for more damage. <sighs> Like, honestly, I don't mean to be so down on myself. I'm sorry. But it's not going to change. I'm never going to stop. I just want... I always want 100% from me. And unfortunately, whenever I run around like an idiot in this game, because my memory is so bad, because everything's so far in between, and I've only beaten two bosses, one that I barely even beat that took like four hours, because... Two from yesterday and two from the prior, three from the prior stream. When I first